Hey guys, it's Sarah. Um, I have a lot of ideas about things that I'd like to talk about, but I'm a little bit scatterbrained about it. I'm not really sure where to start. Um, the thing that weighs on my mind the most heavily is to talk about um, my mental health since the kids were born. You know, starting with the um, the day that they were born, how I wasn't expecting it, and and just the experience of going through an emergency c-section and then the following seven months of being a parent in the NICU um, and how actually I think some of the worst part was after like after the kids came home and unpacking kind of what the hell did we just go through why did this happen to us? Um, it's like when you're going through something really, really, really hard, you put stuff up on a shelf just so that you can get through it. And then when it's over, it's like, okay, well now I have to take that stuff back off the shelf and now I'm gonna feel it. And I was diagnosed with PTSD and I am currently on medication for that. It is an antidepressant, but it has been in trial studies specifically for PTSD um, but I kind of I don't know I didn't really want to start there I think that's pretty depressing and when I look over the last several videos of my channel it's been pretty depressing for a long time and I don't really want to be like that because there is so much joy in my life and I'm so grateful for everything that I have I mean basically I now have everything I've ever wanted and I'm still struggling so, yeah, it goes back to the mental stuff. So, um, okay, so there's one topic, which is the emotional stuff. Another topic would be pumping. I became uh, an expert at pumping, and I think I had every single type of injury you can have pumping. I learned a lot about it, and like the hormonal aspect of it. Um, I was in a weekly support group for mothers who were pumping in the NICU. Um, so, I mean, if any of you are interested in hearing that first, let me know. Another topic would just be um, the medical stuff when we came home. Like how, how did we handle, you know, acquiring all the medical equipment and reordering supplies for, um, you know, two of the boys were on pulse ox monitors and, and um, Kaylin, well both boys at one point were on oxygen. Um, Connor also had an NG tube and there were, you know, enteral, they're called enteral supplies for that and the training that we went through for that. Um, and then just administering the medications because I think in the beginning we were using something like 21 oral syringes per day. So um, if anyone's interested in just hearing how we administered medicines and handled the equipment, I'll talk about that. Um, I imagine that some people are curious about what it's like to raise just, just triplets. Um, and there are some some tips and tricks that I have that work for us, work for our family. Um, oh, um, I am not so sure that I'll be putting the baby's faces on YouTube. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that at one point, um, I experienced some of the darker side of YouTube, I suppose, uh, where... I became aware that I, I and other women were being followed by people who have an attraction to pregnant bodies and especially people carrying multiples and it kind of made me realize whatever I'm putting on YouTube is basically the equivalent of standing on a hill and shouting and there's, there's no way to truly protect myself. And I have to be very careful with what information I'm putting out into the world. And um, I'm probably even more anxious about my baby's images because they were born so early and all of the emotional stuff I went through in the beginning. So um, 
for now, I, I just don't plan on, on putting them on YouTube. But I could show you, you know, some of the setups. There's a lot of labeling involved. <laughs> there are, you know, we make formula and pictures, that sort of thing. So if anyone's interested, I can make, you know, some little videos about that. Those could probably be short clips, actually. That would be kind of fun to have a series of um, tips and tricks for raising multiples. Just basically surviving with them. And then I think it'd be cool to just share a video of like all the things I'm grateful for and how raising triplets, well just raising multiples, is kind of awesome. And it's not really anything that people should be scared of. I know a lot of people that I've met through YouTube um, end up doing some form of um, ART, which is Artificial Reproductive Treatment, I believe. That's what it stands for. So whether that be an IUI or IVF or whatever, Clomid, Cycle, um, a lot of us end up with multiples. And I just don't think it's anything that anyone should be scared of. Now I say that having three. I don't know what it's like to have four or five. <laughs> but I can't imagine it's that different. You still, um, I just can't imagine that it's that different. It, there's still so much awesome stuff about it. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, let me know what you're interested in hearing about because I'm kind of at a loss of where to begin. Take care guys. Bye.